So me and Jimmy have a very bad tendency of never wanting to leave the island as if we had our choice, we would live here already. So I went to book the room at the place we were already at, which was, um, I keep drawing a blank Hampton on that hotel. Inn Hampton Suite. Inn, it's such a basic name and I keep forgetting it. Anyway, the point yeah. is it was $160 a night for that hotel right now to book it for today. I'm a tightwad. So I was like, let's just literally bump over. We're literally like uh, no distance from that hotel right now, about a quarter mile. But the Island Hotel was rated at a 4.2 on Google and it was available through Expedia, which I had a bunch of points built up. So here we are. I think it was like maybe $73, I wanna say. Um, and we're in the month of October. So um, super excited to try it out. Their pool looks absolutely sick. It is a misty day in Port Aransas. Yeah, it's raining. One thing I would like to take note of real quick though is if you are drinking, Domino's is right freaking there, dude. <laughs> right you could go get through. your ass some pizzas, some chicken, like immediately already into that. And we'll check out, we're, we're gonna get checked in and we wanna check out the pool when it stops raining for yeah, a bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be hitting up some wings. Hell yeah. That's cute. I don't know why nobody ever carries sugar-free Red Bulls, but to actually have them at a hotel is almost impossible to find. I drink a sugar-free Red Bull like every single morning, so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Got some snackies. Yeah. And all this. We got ramen. Cheeto ramen? What? Mm. That's crazy. It's mac and cheese. Oh, is it? Cheeto mac and cheese. Oh, I have had that. That makes more sense. Oh, looks like they got a cute little breakfast spot too. Oh yeah. I wasn't oh, they at... even have a pool table in there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and ping pong. Oh, how fun. Oh my God, we should play ping pong. One thing I super appreciated was we had to check out from there at 11 and they literally upgraded us for free on the room to a double bed. Um, I called ahead and I was like, look, we got to check out at 11. I knew it was like a Monday. So I was like, I doubt there's a lot of people booked up. So I was like, is there any way we could get a room like at 11 so that we don't have to do nothing for four hours because it's supposed to be raining. So she like really hooked up. She was super, super sweet on the phone. And she was like, oh yeah, absolutely. Just book the one queen bed and I'll give you the double queen beds because they're already clean. And I was like, hell yeah. Let's so, go. Yeah. Hooking it up. and cool in here dude yeah Dang. we looked we looked at this one hotel that was also available and it looked like super sketch and i was like yeah no i'm not doing this one okay so we got a little table they got those adjoining doors if you want to get so rooms. this was the upgrade we got is we went from one queen bed to two queen beds because this one was already clean so we could check in like really early mm -hmm. big ooh, bigger tv here oh god i hope it's louder other tv was total crap i forgot to say I'm that sure the other it will review. Be. Yeah. yeah i should have said that anyway um, okay, so we got a microwave, fridge, dope. Nice. Yeah, dude, the t TV at Hampton was, it was so quiet. And it was kind of small, too. Dude, really like this so far. Bathroom, man. Just nice and clean. Bathroom. Light, boom. Sweet. Get the fan, sweet. Nice. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's not as like uh, bougie, bougie as, or nice as the Hampton Inn in and Suites, but you know, this is cozy. It's cozy and it's got a couple, hopefully the TV works better because that was my biggest irritation with that one. Um, dang, I really should have said that, but whatever. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but um, yeah, I really like this room. This looks cool. People seem nice. It's nice and clean. I'll take it. Let's go, <laughs> baby. One thing I forgot to make note on was the one thing that was the most annoying about the Hampton Inn was their TV was pretty small for the size of the room and the distance it was from the bed. Yeah. And the volume was total shit. Like it was so quiet. Like it was well, hard to even watch a show. They just put some kind of like buffer thing on the yeah, audio. Yeah, to where you can only turn it up to 51 and not all the way up to 100. That was really agitating. I mean, we didn't watch a lot of TV because we don't usually when we're here, but when we were, that was kind of frustrating. So uh, just let really you know. you're struggling to hear what's going on. You're like, what'd they just say? They're like, huh? Huh? They either said they wanted to eat bologna huh? or he's gonna kill his mommy. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> 
Pretty much. All right, bye. Okay, so I just want to cover a couple little critique things. You know, we like to cover the front and back of everything, goods and bads. So this was one of the first thing I noticed when I turned these lights on because I'm a weirdo and I'm obsessed with lights. Jimmy if you guys follow us, you know yeah. I'm a light person. He's an electrician. I really can't stand when two different lights are different colors. Another thing, again, these are not big deals, but we just like to cover the full aspect of a place. Yeah, and this, then- This lighting fixture, I don't know if you can quite, yeah, there yeah, it is. There yeah, there you go. So it's got some, it's got some buggies in there or something. Buggies. I would recommend cleaning that. And then also, I'm not a big fan of like ivory plates. It's just a little out, Oops, out little wow. Just a little bit outdated. It's just a little outdated, that's all. Not a big deal. Um, the one thing I will say is just kind of like, okay, this one, this is definitely an actual thing, is they need to maybe fix this. that. That That's a little jank. Plug like, the holes no lies, but it. nothing's like a big deal. I just oh would have my. maybe improved the appearances of some of it. Jimmy, what are you doing? Just drop the soap and possibly got soap Don't everywhere. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna make some lunch. Tutor. Yeah. Tutor, I think yeah. you need to drop the soap. No, I don't you need want to drop, drop it. the soap. I don't want to. We went to DG. We decided we weren't gonna eat out anymore on this trip, so we went to DG and just got a bunch of snackies. We got some five-hour energies, jalapeno weenies, some ranch dip. Somebody put this in our cart somehow. Tutor was a bad one. No, that was put in our cart by that no was one. You. you. I have did no that. idea who did that, dude. We're literally going to check out. Oh, uh, we're going to check out, bro. And like Jimmy was like looking away, getting the five hour energies, and I like grab it and then I like flick it onto the counter before he <laughs> saw anything. It's so stupid. We actually got some bad snackies though. I got a big beef stick and then uh You're a big beef yeah, we uh we loaded up on a bunch of microwavable stuff. Got us a bottle of tequila. About to do a shot. It's Monday. The day after the Lord's Day and we have to celebrate. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we usually don't drink on Mondays, but we're still out of town because we booked the extra night. So we're gonna extend our our weekend by one day. <laughs> yeah. Because we're bad. All right, let's make some knackies, TD. Okay, what are you eating? I don't know. I think I'm gonna do, I got these like, um, okay, where are they at? These egg, oh man, it's so hard to decide. I think those will go with the chicken, those probably these. I think I'm gonna do egg rolls. I also got these that look sound, that sound pretty good. They're like sausage poppers, like a protein bite. So, I got like semi, not terrible snackies, but also they're kind of bad too though. I just bad. want bad, dude. I got like breaded chicken, buffalo <laughs> wing, and honey barbecue, and then bagel bites. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But I just got lots of protein. <laughs> And my snackies, so that's good. Running that shit last night. Running that shit, right? Running that shit last night. Running that shit, right? Running that shit last night. Running that shit, right? Running that shit last night. Running that shit, right? Running that shit last night. Running that shit, right? Can I visit me? Jimmy's upset because when we ran into a guy at HEB, he walks up to Jimmy to introduce himself. But he said he recognized me first, and so Jimmy is very butthurt about it because usually at the resorts, people say the same thing. But in fairness, maybe yeah. he didn't actually mean it that way because I'll tell you why. Because we separated in the store. So I think he might have spotted you first and th thought, yes. oh, that looks like Chelsea from the Waffles fan. That is what he was saying. And then when he saw me, then he was like, that's definitely them well, from the Waffles fan. And then he, he approached. Recognize if he didn't recognize you, you I wasn't up. there. Yeah. yeah. He recognized us both, he just saw me first, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid dude. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all better come say hi to me and tell me that you recognize me first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one guy at the resort that booked his honeymoon, he said he recognized you first. Yeah, that he said, my, said the first thing was the flat build hat. He saw yeah. the flat build hat and then he was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Man. Anyway, let's get to lunch. All right, guys. Chelsea's pretty upset right now. I'm so bothered. I have a public service <laughs> announcement. Okay, public service announcement. Go to Dollar General, right? Go to Dollar General to get these egg rolls, okay? Because I thought egg rolls and sweet and sour sauce sound awesome. I've never bought a box of egg rolls without sweet and sour sauce in the container. I am now back home and there's no fucking sweet and sour sauce <laughs> in the container. I've looked everywhere, it's not there. And I thought to myself, 
I thought to myself, maybe some asshole at Dollar General was shopping there and then they, they stole my sweet and sour sauce. Like maybe it was in the packaging because this was kind of open a little bit, like the tape wasn't totally sealed. So my like, someone must have stole it. And then I look on the back and there's no directions for heat and sweet and sour sauce. And I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this really sucks to have to put into the review. I really don't wanna say this, but I also feel like I kinda have to. So I'm gonna show you something and this blows. And again, I really like this hotel. The lady who works here is super sweet and they are rated really high, but there is something that's a little disturbing in our room. So I don't really know what black mold looks like, but this mold that they've got in here is black. And it's here, and it's there, and if we go to the bathroom, hold on one second. <sighs> this blows, man. I like hate to even put this in here, but I also feel like it freaking matters, dude. Black mold's serious, man. So there's black mold here and there. Bed yeah. Uh, whatever. What? Yeah, you already showed him this, but yeah, there's mold all the way around the rim of this light fixture and you can even see it in the fixture here yeah that's what showed there's up. even mold growing on this and then yeah there's mold all over the ceiling um didn't notice it at first obviously. no never seen that in a hotel ever in my life a hotel having black mold that's not yeah, ideal mold. i'm sure we'll be fine we noticed it after we checked in a couple hours ago but the mold, that moldy ass <laughs> guys um on a side note we're looking for applications for a new husband for the channel oh yeah. my god yeah okay guys one more the thing cleansy, cleansiness around here is just not why does it look like somebody pooped in the corners <laughs> Like, I'm serious, it literally looks like someone pooped in the corners. Like, how are you gonna come in here as a maid well, not and not clean up this poop or whatever it is? Ew. I really, really, really hate to leave bad reviews. I always wanna leave good reviews. That's why we review the highest rated places. And this one was rated a 4.2 on Google. But like, dude, their cleaning people need to get their shit together. This is crazy. I mean, I, it's like, it's sad, but it's like, this is probably the most sketchy hotel we've reviewed and it's not even the lowest rated one we've reviewed. But black mold? Well, now I'm <laughs> Come like on, bro. Triggered. Now I'm triggered. Jimmy's on a, Jimmy's on I'm a witch triggered. hunt. I'm like on the witch hunt. I'm like, where's the filter to this hell? Cause it's like, is there just like cake with black mold and shit? Look behind here. Like, okay, it's behind a dresser. Do I clean behind my dressers at the house all the time? No. But hotels and places people stay are kind of held to a different standard versus your home. Okay. Don't you feel like? Yeah. You need, like, people will come, they go, they need to, it's clean. There's mold growing on the floor underneath the dresser. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, gosh. That's mold. That's all mold. Oh, man. That's not good, dude. This place is like infested with mold. Okay, guys, we'll see. I haven't pulled this hand table away from the wall yet. Oh, God. I've only noticed the sides. Ugh. So look over here. Okay. This also looks like really dirtiness and possibly mold growth also on the floor over here. I don't understand why they wouldn't clean the floors. I just that don't understand. Like there. Really? Against the wall. Ugh. God. But. It doesn't smell like cigarettes in your No, it doesn't. Look at that dirtiness. Oh my god. I've so been I'm gonna pull this dirty. away and see what's going on. Oh my god. What the fuck? Move the phone. Oh my god. Dude. You're killing me here, dude. You're literally killing me here. So, um, this place is great, but really dirty overall for. Um, we're talking hotel 
status. This is very dirty, dude. This is like literally breaking my heart to record this. I'm just like, damn, I really, really, really wanted to leave a good review. If it helps for the bed checks, they're decent, but at this point in the video, I think it's kind of clear I would never book this hotel again. <sighs> I'm so sorry, that sucks, but also 100% not my fault, and 100% your maids are completely slacking. I was just gonna say, obviously, if you guys have watched our reviews for hotels and resorts and things like that, we're not really haters, bro. We have, we're not trying to leave bad reviews, but we like to leave good reviews. We like to re we like to leave good reviews. That's but what we try to do. There's mold all over the place. It's that I can't help but notice the uncleanliness of the room. I even noticed a few things in the lobby, which isn't in the video. Yeah. But, well, I was trying to be kind and not filming it because right. there was... So anyway, we tried our best to do a good job because we want to leave a good review. That's why we but rate the places... But also, we want to leave an honest review. So if, if yeah. we stay at a place and we leave a good review, we mean it's a good review. Yeah. Our experience, anyway. But also, when we stay at a place and we're like, what There's the fuck? There's a problem. There's a problem. It's not like we're pretentious ass people like out here being like, ew, oh my God, what peasants that stay here. Like, it's not even like that. It's just like, there's fucking black mold all over the room. Mold experts. So it may, we don't really know if it's black mold. Maybe it's just regular mold. But there's mold growing all over the place. So let's just leave it at that. There's mold. Even regular mold growing all over the place to me is unacceptable. And it might be regular mold. I don't know, but mold is a problem in my opinion. Mold. Well, that's good. So there's a lot of mold. <sighs> I mean, one thing I can say is the bed is decent. Um, and the TV goes loud, so that's something good here. <laughs> I shut the door, I noticed that there's mold growing all over the door. I didn't even try it. I wasn't even looking. We have a big problem. Oh, God. There's James. mold growing all over the chair. What? Oh, God. Let I me was pull just the light back that. more so you guys can see it. There's mold all over, look, you get over here on this side. There's mold growing all in the chair everywhere. There's mold and there's oh. mold on this chair too. I was sitting look on this chair. Look at all this chair. mold, look at all this mold. There's oh, mold God. growing all over Ew, the I was sitting, chair. I was literally sitting in that chair all afternoon, James, ew. There's, what's going on over here? Hey, there's crap all over the wall, oh, but look gosh. at this corner. Oh gosh. Hold on, let me let me get past you. Move out of the way. We need light. Okay, well come with me. Oh gosh. That's nasty. What is that? It's like something spilled or Ew. something. I don't know. That's really gross. It's on the walls too. Ew. Ew. Okay, I wanna get out of here. Alright guys. It's our last morning. We're about to be rolling out soon. We wanted to fish more yesterday, but it <coughs> rained all day. It rained all day, so we just decided to take some downtime and binge watch a shit ton of Game of Thrones. <laughs> and, you know, chill up in do the room. Thing. Do our thing. Do our thing. But, yeah, we're rolling out today, but we decided... The weather's still kind of sketchy out, but it we decided... We would go out, give it one more shot on the jetty. We're just not gonna go too deep on the jetty because I could see it just start to pour. There's a lot of risk for rain this morning. Yep, it's supposed to be raining right now, technically I think, but we're gonna yeah. give it a we're gonna give it give a it whirl. A, give it a go. Give it a go. And see if we can't hook up with a red on the way out. Be nice, dude. Dude, we just walked out to go fishing for a minute. And, and it just started raining. It just started raining, bro. Gosh darn Look at it. the Jeep, man. It's getting all wet. That sucks. Okay. Could have a cup of coffee. Today. Cup of coffee, or a little cup of joe. It's a cup of joe. Regular coffee. I'll take regular coffee. What are you gonna do, decaf, bro? Decaf. <laughs> like, 
Well, damn. That did not go exactly how we wanted it to go or expected it to go even. When we were checking in, we were super hyped and we were like, dang, this place is rated so high. It's going to be such a great experience. That was probably our most like, unfortunate experience in Port Aransas. We have tons of other videos of amazing hotels in Port A. It's not necessarily that I think that's like a horrible hotel, but there was several things that I don't feel comfortable staying at. So we will not be rebooking that place, unfortunately, which really sucks because the owner seemed incredibly pleasant, but I didn't feel comfortable eating breakfast there this morning or comfortable coming back. So, um, but it was a really good day. We got to chill and relax. We were going to fish this morning, but it was raining too much, so it didn't get to happen, but that's okay. Um, such a great trip in Port Aransas. That was the only thing that didn't go according to plan, but everything else has been really awesome. So I am always incredibly depressed to leave the island, and here we go again. Depression. <laughs> Next time, Port Aransas.